What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about understanding the, the pattern day trading rule. Okay. Now, I popped into the Discord earlier today and I seen a question, CSI, what is the pattern day trading rule? And I told them that I was really busy at the moment, but I would make a video about it. So here it is. And before I could make the video, people was pounding on their computers, boy, and I'm so proud of them in the Discord. There must have been six, seven, eight people who was explaining what the pattern day trading rule was to that individual. And they were right. I was reading the discussion as it went along, and they were right. It's for accounts that are under $25,000, okay? It's that you cannot trade more than three-day trades in a five-day period. But before we get too deep in the explanations of what it is exactly, let's look at the definition, then I'm going to break it down into simple common sense understanding for you, okay? The pattern day trading rule is when any customer who executes four or more day trades within a five-day period, okay? And provided that the number of trades represents more than 6% of the customer's total trades in a margin account for the same five business day period. Now, let's just suffice to say, you're going to trade more than 6% of the trades. It's going to be day trades. It's going to happen, people. It's just the way it is. So you're going to violate this right from Jump Street. All right. But let's look at, again, the first part of the, of the definition, which was any customer who executes four or more day trades within a five business day. Now, let's talk about what exactly is a day trade, all right? Now, I know what some of you are thinking. We know what day trading is. Day trading is when you buy and sell a security on the same day, CSI. You would be right in part, all right? That's not exactly what a day trade is, people, because day trade means two different things in a cash account, and a margin account. See, you could violate the pattern day trading rule over here in your margin account, but not in your cash account. And you could violate a pattern day trading rule in your cash account differently than you will in your margin account. So you you got to know the difference between the two, okay? This is an example of a Weeble account that I have open, okay? I got several open. Uh, there was a thing with get free shares by referring people, so I would refer myself and refer myself and refer myself, all right, until I had a bunch of free shares. And I opened this account right here particularly with a $1,000, and this is my th uh, 5K in 30-day challenge that I'm trying to get my money back that I've lost with AMC, okay? And as you can see right now, I started with a 1000 I'm up to $1,762.68, all right? And I have four contracts for AMC at the strike price of 20 for January 2024. My goal in this account is to get enough options to pick back up where I left off if AMC squeezes, all right? So I'm building up my call options in January, and when I get to five contracts, I'll switch to February, and I'll build up five contracts until this some bitch finally squeezes, because eventually it will squeeze people. But what I want you to notice right now is right here where it says settled cash, I've got $1,328.94 in settled cash. But you see I can trade $1,596.68 in options buying power. So I have higher options buying power than I have settled cash. All right. Now, over here you see unsettled cash. So if you take the unsettled cash and you add it to the settled cash, you get the options buying power. Okay. It's not very difficult, people. I did a trade in this account today. And I, it was worth $267.74. Therefore, that cash has been set to the side until it settles, till that trade settles, which takes about two days. Then this unsettled cash moves over here to the settled cash. 
all right then you have a hundred percent trading power again but now let's say for example AMC run up today and as you can see it's up thirty two dollars or twenty three percent and I get excited and stoked and I go oh that's awesome I'm so glad to have thirty two dollars and I sell my AMC shares and I bought them this morning and they run up 23% and I sold them today, would that be violating the pattern day trading rule? Answer, no. Why? Because I'm using settled funds. If I would have bought this morning and I had $1,500 worth of buying power and I bought these shares for $166, okay, no big deal. If I sold them, they become unsettled cash. And if I try to buy more options with that or anything, with that unsettled cash, it becomes a pattern day trading rule violation. Very simple. Don't use unsettled cash to buy stock or options in a cash account. And you won't violate the pattern day trading rule. It's been my experience. Because when I opened that account with $1,000, people, I was scalping two and three different plays at a time, all right, a day, buying and selling. Get in, get up, get out. That's what we say, right? Well, I was doing that in the beginning, three times a day, four times a day, all right? And we finally picked it up to from 1000 to $1,700, okay? I couldn't understand how wasn't I violating the pattern day trading rule? I was trading three different securities a day. And then I come to the conclusion, because nobody was there to tell me, I had to come up with the solution on my own, and I figured it out that it was being used. You get a day trading rule violation if you use unsettled funds. Now, the way you don't do that is, now I set a certain percent of my portfolio that I will trade in a day. And then I'll stop so that I'll have settled funds for the next day. And then when I'm trading those, those settled funds from the day before get settled. So then I'll never violate the pattern day trading rule in my cash account like that, okay? Now let's flip the script real quick and talk about the margin accounts and the difference now with the day pattern day trading rule and how it applies in the margin account versus the cash account. Now, I wanted to buy a particular call option and what I didn't realize was I didn't have my settings right with Weeble and I bought that long call with my margin account and I didn't even notice the difference all right I, it wasn't set right when it asked me about buying I didn't know to look but now I do all right you learn things by experience people but now the stock option run up 37 percent and i sold and when i sold i said strike one bitch and i said what do you mean strike one and i looked and i was in my margin account and i said well i'll be a son of a bitch so i got a strike by accident on my margin account when i bought a long position in an option okay so strike one even though it was a mistake but i learned something from that mistake is that if I would have made sure that I was in the cash account when I purchased that long position when I sold it a few hours later for 37 percent profit it would not have been a day trading strike so I've learned to incorporate this understanding of how margin accounts and cash accounts differ with day trades to where now I trade nothing but my long or short positions in my cash account why because i get in i get up and i'm getting out all right these are my quick scalping trades i do all my quick scalping trades in my cash account why because i learned if i buy a security stock or options and i sell it on the same day i will get a strike on my margin account and if you get three strikes you're out so, got a little bit more I could talk about on the day trading rule. Come on over to the Discord, links down below. 
talk to some of the people in there. We all give our understanding as we understand it. We're not legal advisors. We just, from our experience, share with each other what we've learned and how we can strengthen our trading plan. And this is part of it right here, people. If you understand the significance of the day trading rule, then now you'll know why I had to open up two different accounts. One to trade Iron Condors and Iron Butterflies, which is the margin account, and the long positions stay over here, or the short positions stay over here in the cash account. So I'm having to work two accounts now. So that's why I haven't had a good update for y'all recently, but we're going to talk about that in the next video. Love y'all. Be blessed, and I'll see you then. If you found any value in this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. It helps out, blah, blah, blah. Love y'all. Be blessed. See you in the next video.